So I'm back after a short brief hiatus and we recently actually hit a thousand subs and again I cannot I think fully express my gratitude but I'd like to really say thanks to everybody that has supported the channel given a like and a sub because the fat fluffy red hamster really appreciates it. So uh, here we're in a bit of a different video. I'm actually in front of a monitor, right? I'm sorry for the quality. It's not the greatest, but I think it'll get the job done for what we need to do today. So in this video, it's going to be a little bit different than my usual tutorials. I just want to uh, share my configuration for my Ryzen 7700X CPU, specifically the uh, power settings, because uh, I think I have to make a video really describing my uh, build of this PC here, but essentially, if you know this processor, I don't want to get into the the other uh, variant, the non-X uh, version of this, but essentially, AMD has either hit a wall in terms of their architecture, or maybe for this series of CPUs, they've decided that they want to squeeze out every last bit of performance that they can. So in this, I don't know, I find it kind of strange, especially with the introduction of the 7700, the non-X one, right? Uh, I find it very strange that they uh, did this, but pretty much you can see with this processor that after maybe like 5.1, 5.2 gigahertz, everything else after that, um, that last bit of performance that it can get out. It's just brute force through like, you know, excessive power usage. And it's kind of strange to me because for, you know, on Cinebench, you'll get an extra thousand points. But is it really worth it to, you know, have over 30 watts, you know, 40 watts of power consumption just for that small bit of uh, percentage there, that percentage increase in performance? I think not. So in this video, I'm just going to show my settings that have reduced my temps from being 95C, which is insane, to being um, on idle around like 40, 40, I don't know, maybe 44, somewhere around there, to on max CPU load about 60, 61. And I saw some other case, I can't remember what game I was playing, but it reached 70. But this is the max. So between 40 and 70C is where my processor sits, you know, uh, idling or on uh, gaming. And I've been playing like The Witcher, some Counter-Strike Go, Battle Bit. And uh, this is what I've noticed here. And uh, I'm quite happy with it now, now that the temps are no longer uh, 95C. And even one interesting thing, by the way is that I tested putting a massive amount of stress on the CPU uh, on stock settings, right? So it's running at 95C. And at this point, you know, it's running like a, you know, like a turbo engine. Uh, it's on fire. And uh, the the heat temperature, right? The temperature of the, the CPU was so high that it had to reduce its uh, speed to 4.8 gigahertz all cores, right? This is under uh, like max CPU load. And obviously the I don't have a water cooling system. So I'm using just uh, a giant heat sink and it could not, you know, dissipate the heat fast enough. So it has to reduce its speed. And then I tested it again, same setup, just in this quote unquote eco mode as AMD would like to call it. And uh, rather than being limited to 4.8 gigahertz, it just reduces itself to like 4.675, uh, something like that. So, you know, almost the same performance, but just in reality, uh, you know, there's that little bit of extra there, but you're chewing up so much power. I don't think it's worth it. So to do this, what we're going to do now, by the way, is just go into the eco mode of the CPU. So it's in this stock setting, which is just, you know, again, um, just the the maximum. It's trying to take the maximum it can out of the CPU, which in my opinion is not worth it. So we go into overclocking settings. Go to advanced CPU configuration. Uh, AMD 
overclocking here precision boost overdrive now this thing has many settings and i'm going to explain uh my logic here and how i've done this but uh this is just the screen as it is on msi i'm not too sure on other uh motherboards i haven't you know i haven't built any new pc in a couple years but this is how it is it should be very similar just try to find this menu precision boost overdrive now the first thing that you want to do to just reduce your power power usage is to reduce the amount of voltage you're sending to the cpu here and we do this by going into curve optimizer now uh when you watch other people do this they will tell you to start uh reducing by going to like 10 15 uh 20 for me i just went to the maximum that was uh that i don't know if this is the maximum allowed uh or if it's just the maximum known to be working but everybody has said that this is the max that they've used and so i started out okay let me use the max right and if you're lucky right and your silicone is of a decent quality it will be able to accept this reduction now if you're not so lucky then you might be limited to like 20 uh, 20 25 maybe 15 but i think in general most people will be able to do this um, so yeah, we just have to set the curve optimizer to all cores, uh, all core, um, sign here, the optimizer sign. This is just, if you want to go positive or negative, we're going to go negative because we're not trying to push the CPU any further. So after you do this, you will definitely notice a reduction in power consumption. You'll still have high temps, but, uh, you will notice that the efficiency will be a lot better. So if you're going to um you know either way that you do this you're gonna have to test right so it's either you're testing to um uh, from you know the higher level or starting from the lower level but just find the point that you want to test so let's say for me if i wanted to test this again i would start at 30 boot my system do some gaming uh make sure that everything is stable stress test it and if it's all right then you're good but if you have some crashing happening you should probably reduce this by like five or ten and try again and then find you know that sweet spot where it doesn't uh crash anymore so this is the first thing that you do all right now we can i'm going to explain why i did this later but anyway um the next thing that we want to do is set our thermal throttle limit so this is our peak uh, temp that we want to be able to reach um, now when I did this uh, I was always reaching 95 C when the CPU was at uh, max load or not even at max load just you know it was given some task and it would just run up to like 90 again I'm not in a water cooled system so I know that that probably you know is a big reason to that but like opening a web browser, should you really be at 90C? Not really. Um, so yeah, anyway, let's just set our limit here to a comfortable value. For me, um, I put 85, but under all the settings that I currently have, I don't even reach 85. I think I top out at 70, 71. But in general, I'm really idling at like 44 42 something like that and then i'm maxing out at uh around like 62 during uh gaming and i'm gaming on a 1080p monitor by the way so i know that i'm not really pushing the system to the max but i think most people you know are playing between 1080p and 1440p so anyway the next thing that we want to do is our uh voltage limits here to the um sorry now voltage limits the watts the limiting the the cpu socket here so this comes from amd i've seen some people do like 85 then they use different amperage but um this is amd's actual eco mode setting here this is what they say so we have to set oh by the way this is um so in some uh motherboards they will say like milliwatts milliamps here 
mine does watts and amps. So if you were to do this on uh, milliwatts, you would say like uh, 1,000 times this, right, which is 88,000. And this would be 75,000, and this would be 150,000. I've seen that configuration before. I'm not exactly too sure why. I guess it gives you uh, more precision. But is anybody... I don't know. I'm not a real overclocking person. I only did this because it reduces power consumption and heat. So I don't know why they do that in some other boards. But on mine, it's just wattage and amperage. So anyway, this comes from an AMD. 88 watts here, 75 uh, amps, and 150 amps. Um, so once we set that, you can reboot again, test your system, everything's all good, then uh, you're all right there. But one thing that I also did is that I went down here and I reduced the maximum CPU boost. So stock, it will go to like 5.5. But for me, what I ended up doing is just reducing it by 400 megahertz. And it may seem like, I don't know, maybe it is a bit strange, but in my honest opinion, uh, the, the amount of power that you have to pump into the CPU to reach these, uh, you know, these high uh, limits, it's not worth the return that you get. Uh, so for me, I think it's, it's a more than you know the sacrifice is worth it because you're not really losing a lot it, it may be advertised that you know 5.5 gigahertz right uh, max boost but to reach that takes a lot and not only does it take a lot but the return that you get back in there is not so much right so uh anyway yeah that covers my settings here that i did to reduce my power and uh heat on uh, my uh, PC here because it was just, I mean, it wasn't that bad to be honest with you. Um, it did get a little bit loud occasionally, but um, now it runs dead silent, you know, even if I'm playing like The Witcher, you know, maxed out settings, um, what other games have been playing uh, CSGO, but I mean, the, the CSGO, the, <laughs> you know, you could run, you could run CSGO on a potato and it would work, right? But, um, yeah, every game that I've thrown on here, emulation, has run really, really well. Um, I think I have to do a more in-depth sort of review on this PC, but I just wanted to share my configuration here to reduce power consumption and temperatures because, you know, why waste? And it's also good for the environment. Why, why should we uh, not, uh, you know conserve when when there is room to conserve right so anyway again if you appreciate the content if you like the fat fluffy red hamster please give a like and a sub i will also be sure to put these uh settings here in the description thanks again